Hello everyone, teacher Jonas here, and today we are going to learn more about division. So, division has three syllables. Division. Division. So, everyone, repeat after me. Division. Division. One more time. Division. Division. Very good. Now, division has two symbols. Divided by equals, which you already know. So this is divided by. Now, as you remember, division is splitting into equal groups or parts. Now, as you remember this example, you have, uh, you have 12 chocolates and three friends want to share them, right? So, what do we do? We have to divide it into three so we divide it into three groups how many in each group four chocolates so 12 divided by three equals four <laughs> pretty easy right so before we get to the next part let's remember the big number is called dividend dividend 18 Divided by 3 equals 6. 18 is the dividend. And you know this already. Divided by 3. The number of groups you want is called the divisor. Divisor. Very good. And the answer is called quotient. Quotient. So dividend divided by divisor equals quotient hmm. so six is the quotient here now look at this one what's the dividend here 12 what's the divisor two what's the quotient six like this one see this is the visual picture of 12 divided by two which equals to six 12 dividend three divisor and four quotient or this one 12 dividend, 4 divisor, and 3 is the quotient. Here's another example, 12 divided by 6. Or a bigger example, what's the dividend here? The dividend is 36. What's the divisor here? It's 2. What's the quotient here? It's 18. Oh, yeah, look at this. 36 divided by 3 equals 12. Repeat after me. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Very good. Now, let's look at this example. 36. Repeat after me. 36 divided by 6 equals 6. So cool. Now, let's talk about the new topic. Division in verse operations. In verse, in verse operations. Now, you don't have to learn to say the word. It's okay. But you need to understand it. So what is in verse operations? Firstly, how to do division faster. You know, sometimes you forgot how you forget how to do division, right? So, for example, oh, what is 63 divided by 9? Oh, ah, I cannot think of it. It's a little confusing. So, how to do it faster? I have a way for you. We can use inverse operations. Now, the inverse of multiplication is division. Inverse means the opposite. And also the inverse of division is multiplication. Teacher, I don't understand. It's okay. Let me show you. As I said, multiplication and division. Division is the inverse operation of multiplication. For example, let's imagine 3 times 7 equals what? 21, right? Pretty easy. So 3 times 7 equals 21. Now, 
it has the inverse relationship with these two. Look at this. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. Or 21 divided by 7 equals 3. You see, these are related. They have a relationship together. So let's look at another example. If you know that 6 times 3 equals 18, that means you know that 18 divided by 6 equals 3. And also 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Easy. So you know the answer to two different multiplications or divisions if you know only one answer. Pretty cool, right? So let's put it in use. Again, if you know 3 times 2 equals 6, then you can make two division sentences. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Or 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So, now let's do this one together. Make two division sentences from these multiplications. Okay, let's do it. So first one, 5 times 2 equals 10. Hey, I know. 10 divided by, uh, let's say 5. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Yeah. And I know 10, this time not 5, this time 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 5. Heh, easy. So let's look at this one. 5 times 3 equals 15. So 15, we put it here. 15 divided by, uh, let's say 5 again. 5 equals 3. Yeah. And also 15 divided by, this time let's do, let's say 3 equals 5. Pretty easy. Okay, last one. 6 times 10 equals 60. Oh, this is a big number. So, again, we put the big number here. 60 divided by 6 equals 10. And what should I write here? Hmm, I know, 60 divided by... Oh, I used 6 already. So, this time, let's use... 10. So 6 divided by 10 equals 6. Hey, this is cool. I know this, so I know this. So cool. So let's do this together. 64 divided by 8. Ah, I don't know this one. So what should I do? Hey, I know. Instead of saying 64, divided by 8, let's see, 8 times what equals 64? Let's think like this. So 8 times a number equals 64. Now, if you still can't get it, it's okay. Just remember the multiplication table of 8. 8 times 1, 8. 8 times 2, wait, let me turn on, oh, 8 times 2, 16. 8 times 3, 24. 8 times 4 equals 32. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 6, 48. 8 times 7, 56. 8 times 8, 68. Hey, look at here. We got it. 64. I found it. So, 8 times 8 equals 64. So, I know that this is 8. So the number missing here is 8. So 8 times 8 equals 64. So 64 divided by 8 equals 8. <laughs> See? So easy. Now let's look at this one. 45 divided by 9 equals... I cannot think of the answer. Hmm... Okay, let's do the same way. 9, which is this one, times what equals 45? So let's do it. Let's find it from this side. 9 times something equals 45. So 9 times 1, 9. 
9 times 2, 18. 9 times 3, 27. 9 times 4, 36. 9 times 5, 45. Hey, I think I found it. 45, right? So, 9 times 5, which is this one, is what we write here. So, 45 divided by 9 equals 5, right? Yeah, easy. So, let's look at the next one. Okay, so 56 divided by 7. Hmm. So, it means 7 times something equals 56. Let's say, this is a big number. So, let's start from 7 times 10. 7 times 10, 70. 7 times 9, 63. 7 times 8. Hey, 7 times 8. So, the number here is 8. 7 times 8 equals 56. Yeah, easy. Yeah, I'm correct. <laughs> if you ever forget it, you have to work on your multiplication table. So, let's do another one. 32 divided by 4. So, 4 times what equals 32? Easy. 4 times, let's say 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times uh, 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32. Hey, I found it. 4 times 8. Yeah, I'm correct. <laughs> so cool. So, you can work on your multiplication tables. If you forgot it, work on this. And if you do this, if you can do this, you can easily do division. Super easy. So, as always, I am so proud of you guys. Take care of yourself. And until next time, Teacher Jonas out. Bye-bye. See you.